Hi everyone, Symphony Slime Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it is time for a review of the new Pierre Bourne and Young Nudie record, Slime Air. Young Nudie, an Atlanta rapper with a growing profile and some interesting connections. He is the cousin of 21 Savage, and on this new project over here, he is linking up with one of the most in-demand producers in the game right now. Known for his minimal and funny and subtly psychedelic beats all over Playboy Cardi's Die Lit, Pierre Bourne doing double billing on a record with just about any rapper right now is going to gain attention. Though this is far from the first time he's worked with Nudie before, as he's given the guy tons of instrumentals on his Slimeball mixtape series, on his Nudie Land project, the connection between these two guys runs long and deep. But honestly, I see the relationship as being sort of one-sided. As the instrumentals make up for the majority of the appeal, the majority of the time, on any given Nudie song. For me, Nudie's greatest strength, I guess, is that he doesn't distract all that much from the good qualities of the instrumentals. Pierre's playful and cute melodies, his hypnotic and simple percussion. It sort of strikes a vibe, but outside of that I don't get what's so interesting about this project. Nudie's flows on this thing aren't exactly coherent or consistent. Sometimes he's barely even on the beat, like Blueface, but without even a fraction of the charisma. He's just another one of these rappers who comes in sounding incredibly faded in the booth. I mean, it's kind of a giveaway when you put out a mixtape titled Faded in the Booth. And look, it's not something I'm inherently against. There are plenty of great artists that do it, but I don't think it's necessarily to Nudie's benefit on this record, as he's vocally just wandering over every beat here. And he's not incoherent in the same way that an Uzi or a Future or a Thugger feature might be, where the lyrics aren't quite as important as just the feeling of the performance those artists are giving. Honestly, most of what Nudie is saying on this project here is pretty easy to read and decipher. I say Nudie's performances on this record are incoherent because he's so far from saying anything notable or anything memorable that he might as well just be speaking a made up language. And it's not just a lyrical thing either because his performances, his rapping, his delivery on this project is shockingly underwhelming. Sounding high out of his mind on this thing does lead to some moments where he doesn't have that many inhibitions, so some weird and funny vocalizations and inflections will kind of slip through, but his performances aren't nearly as dynamic or as expressive or as intoxicating, energizing as any of the other rappers currently operating in this minimal, psychedelic, weirdo lane of trap right now. Playboy Cardi being the most obvious comparison. Not to mention every feature on this thing commands is at least two times more attention than he does. Megan Thee Stallion, DaBaby, Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage. Across the rest of the record, there's not a whole lot to report. Once you have the formula of the first few tracks, you pretty much know what the rest of the album's gonna do. The shouty overdubs in the background of the track Black Hippie White Hipster are kind of weird. You don't hear that every day. The beat on Sunflower Seeds is particularly sad, that certainly makes it stand out in a good way. And the synthesizers throughout the track Dispatch are warped and eerie, they almost sound like something out of the Undertale soundtrack. I could keep listing, but nearly everything that stands out to me on this record has directly to do with the instrumentals and the production. Honestly, I, I just see this album as another submission in the current paradigm of the skeletal, surreal, and somewhat trippy trap albums with lyrics that are a little directionless, which isn't a bad thing if the songs come out intoxicating, if the songs come out exciting. But this one is pretty unfulfilling in that regard. Even though Nudie seems pretty off the deep end on a majority of these tracks, very little of that actually translates through the songs and his performances. Though I will say Pierre did kind of kill it on a lot of the instrumentals here, even if the incessant producer tags and Jamie Foxx samples he throws all over this thing kind of kill the vibe. Overall, it's fine when it's on, but I don't really see what about this record is going to draw listeners back to it once the trend that it's following is over. I'm feeling a strong four to a light five on this. Transition, have you given this project a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Young Nudie, Pierre Bourne, forever.